All right, in today's video, we're going to learn how to multiply a number by four using the doubling strategy. So you'll know you're successful when you can use the twos back to derive the fours backs. And this works for any time that you are asked to multiply a number by four, that you can use this strategy. Okay, so before we start, I wanna review some vocabulary. So the first word we need to know today is double. Double means twice the amount, which is the same thing twice means times two, okay? Um, in second grade, you learned about your double, well, actually, first and second grade, you learned double additions facts, like two plus two, three plus three, four plus four, and so forth. Um, but now that we're older, we're thinking about it as twice or times two. The other word I want us to be familiar with is just because we're going to be, um, you're going to be seeing dots in the form of an array. And an array is a set of objects arranged in rows and columns. It forms a rectangle. And here is an example of that, okay, where you put things into a rectangle in rows that go from side to side and columns that go up and down. And it's just a way for us to represent objects. Um, in an organized manner, okay? And that is then a shortcut for multiplication. So let's get started with our first example, shall we? All right, so our first example is going to be multiplying four times three. So I want you to pause the video and picture four times three. What do you picture? Pause the video now. Welcome back. Okay, so to solve four times three, we're gonna go through a few steps before we actually get to four times three. So the first thing is, I want you to look at this array. What do you see? What multiplication equation could I write to represent this array? I'd like you to pause the video now to answer those questions. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you said, you can, there are many things you might have um, said actually. One of the things you might have said is that you see two rows that go across and there are three in each row. So we could um, think about that as a double three. Three and three. I doubled three. And I could write that in multiplication as two rows of three or two times three equals six. Okay, but that wasn't our problem, Miss Swadley. Our problem was four times three. Well, we're getting there. Just hold tight. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another array. What do you see now? What multiplication equation could you write to represent this array? So pause your video to answer the questions. What do you see now? And what multiplication might represent this? Welcome back. Okay, there are lots, again, there are lots of things you could have said. Um, but I was thinking that maybe you saw, oh, there's that two by three array that we saw over here. Did anybody else see that same array that we saw on the last slide? Yeah, but we didn't just see it once, we saw it, what's the magic? Or twice. We saw it once on the top of the dotted line and once on the bottom. So we saw the double three array from over here, right here, but then we saw that doubled. It's the same thing on the bottom. So it shows the double of three, but it doubles that. So it's the double, the double. Here's the original double. Two, three doubled is six. And then we doubled that double. Okay, so here's the original double, and then here's the double double, where we doubled the double. And hopefully you said that this is four times three, which is 12, okay, which was our original problem. So how did we use our twos fact to solve our fours fact, you ask? Well, let's see. How does knowing the two times three help me solve the four times three? I want you to pause the video to answer the questions. How are these two arrays similar? How are they different? So how does, how does 
what about them being alike or different helps me solve four times three by using two times three. So I wanna know what you think. Pause the video now. And welcome back. So hopefully you noticed and you said that the relationship between them says that they both have two times three in them. That's the way they're alike. But the four times three has a double or it's twice the size. So if I know the two times three array and I double it, I get the four times three. So knowing the twos facts helps me because I can break apart those four groups of three. And I can break it into two groups and two groups. The double, double three, double three. And here it is. I can see it here. Two times three is six. Two times three is six. So I'm just doubling. This is my original double. And then I double it to get 12. Okay. So you can think of four times three as a double two times three or two groups of two times three. So if you know that two fact, you double it to get your four fact. Let's look at another example, because I know that's a lot of using the word double and twice, and it gets confusing. So here's our next example. What is four times eight? How can we think about it? So I want you to pause the video for a minute and just picture, what does four times eight look like to you? All right, and let's get started. So I see that four again, so I know I can use a strategy. So again, what do you see when you look at this array? What multiplication equation could you write to represent this array? So I want you to pause the video now and answer those questions. Okay, and welcome back. Hopefully you noticed that it has two rows, one row, two rows. Each row has eight dots. So it's eight and eight. And we know that eight and eight is the same thing as double eight, which is two times eight is equal to 16. All right, but Ms. Swadley, the problem is four times eight. So how could I possibly get use two times eight to get four times eight? Well, let's take a look. What do you see now? What multiplication equation could you write to represent this array? Pause your video now to answer those questions. All right, and welcome back. Hopefully, similar to the last one, you saw that the um, arrays are very similar looking. That here's above the line, you see two times eight, or eight doubled. And below the line, there's a double eight. So what you're really looking at is double the double. Here was our double, I doubled eight, but then I doubled this whole top on the bottom. So my equation for this would be four times eight, and that should not say 16, oh my goodness, that's a boo-boo. That should say 32. Two times eight is 16, 16 on top, 16 on bottom is a total of 32. So um, how does knowing two times eight help me solve four times eight? I want you to explain that now. So pause the video and explain how does knowing two times eight help me solve four times eight? All right, welcome back. Hopefully you said that you can break apart those that, that four into two groups and two groups of eight. So two groups of eight is eight plus eight or eight times two or two times eight, double, right? And another of the same exact thing. So we're doing this two times. You can see it here, two times eight is 16, two times eight is 16. That gives me a total of four groups of eight, which is 32. We just add the doubles together. Okay, so we can think of it as double two times eight or two groups of two times eight and put those two groups or those doubles together and that will give us four times eight. Okay, one last example here is four times six. And again, we're thinking, how could we think about four times six? So 
Visualize that in your mind right now. What does that look like? Okay, here we go. I see that four again. That tells me I can use the double double strategy just like we did before, double double. All right, so we start with the our first double. Okay, so we're gonna do two doubles. Let's look at the first double. What do you see? What multiplication equation could you write to represent this array? Pause the video, answer the questions. All right, welcome back. Remember, this is our first of the doubles. So what are we doubling here? We're doubling six. Six and six is double six, which is the same thing as two times six equals 12. There are 12 dots here, double six. Six on top, six on bottom. All right, so that's where we get double six. So now, the problem isn't two times six, the problem is four times six. So you guessed it, we have to do what? Yeah, so go ahead and pause the video, answer the questions. What do you see now? What multiplication equation could you write to represent this array? Hopefully, you said that this was double the double. So my original double was six and six. Six doubled is 12. But now we're doubling that double. So on top is my first double, 12. Then I have to double that to get four rows of six or four groups of six. And that would make 24. And you can see them when they're side by side. How does knowing the two fact help me figure out the four fact? All right. And hopefully you said something like you can decompose or break apart the four. Here's my array of four rows into two rows or two groups of six and two rows or two groups of six. So I can double six to get the top, which is 12. And then on the bottom, it's the exact same thing. So 12 and 12 make 24. So anytime you see a four, you're gonna break it into, yeah, that's right, two and two. Now here's the trick. Since you guys are older, we're gonna go into a little extension here. Guess what? This works for bigger numbers too, to be able to, mentally do some um, bigger number computation. So if you have four times 43, double the double. So break it into two groups of 43. Well, two groups of 43 is just doubling 43, which is 86. But you don't want just two groups, you want four groups. Two groups plus two groups makes four groups. So 86 and 86 makes 172. Here's another example, four times 54. We have four groups of 54. Break it apart into two groups and two groups. So to figure out the first group, since it's a two times or twice, that's a doubles fact. So I double 54 to get 108. The second group is exactly the same. It's two groups of 54 again. And we know that two groups means double or twice. So we double 54. 108, add it together to get the total amount. So any time that you see a times four, you can use a doubling strategy. Just take the other number and double, double, okay? So to summarize what we learned today, whenever you have a problem that reads a number times four or four times a number, you can use a doubling strategy to solve the problem quickly and efficiently. Four is the double, double fact. So you're gonna use the, remember this first double is times two. And then when you double the times two fact, you get the times four fact.